Hi there, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, this is uh, troubleshooting this Speedrite SB1000 uh, fence charger that a friend sent to me to see if I could get it working. And uh, as you can see, I've put a couple of transistor sockets in there. This transistor was missing. The original fault actually seems to have vaporized this transistor. Uh, so I'm just guessing at the value of that one. I've tried about 30 different transistors in there, and uh, this one, whoops, sorry. Focus, damn it. This is a 2SC1384. There it is. 2SC1384. And out of about 30 different transistors I found, that's the one that worked the best. Uh, I also replaced all of the 4007 diodes in the input circuit. And I've tried different op amps. This is a LM358N dual op amp. I've tried several different versions in there, including a TL082. I've replaced the uh, high voltage. Um, timing capacitor for the oscillator circuit with a, one of even higher voltage of same 10 nanofarad rating. And uh, I've checked all the resistor values and all the other diodes. I did replace one of the blocking diodes here with one that's even faster. This is an MUR 1560. And I tried substituting in a different SCR, and uh, this is the SCR trigger transistor. The problem is that the thing doesn't charge the capacitor, external capacitor, to over 30 volts, and it should be charging it much higher than that. It also doesn't draw enough current on the input. It only draws about 20 milliamps and should be drawing uh, 80 to 100 milliamps. Now it has these nice little connectors for the uh, output high voltage transformer that actually drives the fence. The reservoir capacitor that discharges into that transformer and the DC input. So I made a little uh, snap-in board for it here with those functions on spade lug connectors. So, and then I found a just for testing purposes, I found a 10 to 1 uh, transformer. So I've got the, uh, the one side hooked to the output of the board and the 10 side hooked to my neon, any two neon load bank over there. And then I had to make up a capacitor to f match the spec, which is 7.5 microfarads, 900 volts. Uh, so there's about an 8 eight and a half microfarad capacitor there and scope probe. So let's uh, cut the chatter and put it together. Snap this onto the board like so and uh, now it should be ready to go. There's the uh, oscilloscope over there. You can see in the fast pulse mode, this thing pulses once a second, and in the slow pulse mode, it's once every two and a half seconds. That's the voltage on the capacitor right now, showing where the baseline is. Now I'm going to turn the unit on to the fast pulse mode. And we're looking at that at 10 volts per vertical division, so you can see a perfectly normal capacitor charge curve there. Boomer, charge, pulse, charge, pulse. It asymptotes at about 30 volts. Uh, changing the oscillator transistor or some various other components can bring that down. If I use a really bad transistor, I may only get 10 volts of charging here. 30 volts is the maximum I'm able to charge this capacitor, though, and it should be charging to hundreds of volts. It's a 900 volt uh, capacitor, and it needs to have that higher charge voltage 
in order to produce enough of an output pulse in, in the output transformer to really charge the fence. There I've got it flashing two neons in series. This is the pulse indicator. The pulse rates are set by these two capacitors and one side of the TLO82 or the dual L, uh, LM358 op amp there. If I select a slow pulse rate, now we're timing with this capacitor for the pulse rate. The SCR is dumping the capacitor charge into the primary of this, capa of this uh, transformer, which is then boosted to a high enough voltage to flash the And if, uh, if this thing were working right, it would drive a mile of, of electric fence uh, with hundreds of volt pulses from the capacitor but it's only getting 30 volt pulses from the capacitor because something about the charging circuit isn't working right. It's got to charge the... Uh, it's oscillating, char uh, ringing the inductor and then the inductive back spikes are stored on the capacitor to be dumped later by the SCR into the transformer. So the spikes are not being made as high voltage as they should be and the current input is way below what it should be uh, only about 20 milliamps and it should be 80 to 100 milliamps there all right that's the progress report on the troubleshooting of the speedrite fence charger thank you for watching